Welcome to episode three of Danzy Pell, and uh, this is uh, Arsenal this week. So uh, I wanted to go back in time to the late nineties when Arsenal did, still had Nike, and I wanted to come up with an Adidas alternative. And so lots of Adidas options here. I actually chose one from a, about four years ago, or three or four years ago. Um, suits what I want to do here and um, very anachronistic but nonetheless and uh, that's what I wanted to do. The, the current Arsenal kit has a uh, navy shoulder stripes so um, I actually had this idea before Christmas last year to have uh, shoulder stripes uh, in a border. Um, I'm taking the border inspiration from the, uh, the shorts on the 88 to 90 kit so um, a little homage there um, yeah um, so I decided to keep a collar on this one and uh, then I'm gonna keep it quite basic because I think once you have something on the shoulder and um, especially on a home kit uh, as storied as the Arsenal one, you really don't want to go over the top with any of the patterns. Uh, lots of retro badges available, just not the one I want. I wanted a white one, uh, the one they had on the Arsenal kits between maybe 91 and 94, and um, before Nike came in. It's not available here, so I spent a few minutes uh, trying to uh, make it white, but to no avail. Something I'll come back to. In the meantime, I'll put that in uh, JVC. So JVC is here. Oh, yeah, what a sponsor. Really good. A little bit big, obviously, so I'll bring that down to about halfway. So, yeah, already it's unmistakably an Arsenal kit. And then there's some other things I want to do. Um, so you might recall, old school Arsenal fans might remember, they had these kind of Dennis the Menace socks in the early 80s with the, with the Umbro kit. Um, not a particularly golden period for Arsenal, um, but I thought the socks were pretty cool. They kind of matched the shoulders. So I decided to bring them back. And you can change the the, uh, the logo, the Adidas logo position there, and that's just another part of your gold membership. Give it a quick spin around. He's liking the look of that so far. Um, there is one other thing we can do here, and um, so you might remember this motif was available back in the late eighties. Um, the AFC there and I would have liked to put this on the back of the collar but that's not available on this system so um, I'll put it on the tail now, Arsenal did have this kind of thing going on in the Nike shirts obviously with the Victorian style Arsenal uh, font to it and I decided to, just to go for AFC here um, yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, the idea for the shoulders is based on the, uh, the 88 to 90 kit, uh, particularly the shorts. I'm just going through some Google images here, uh, you can see a few different options. I'll just click on Dennis's page here, Museum of Jerseys. Very accurate illustration. Um, one thing that's kind of an annoyance on the uh, Pro Evo app is I cannot put a border around stripes. Um, you can't really see them there, but yeah, there is a red border on those white stripes. Um, and it's a little bit annoying that you can't replicate that on Pro Evo. 
But anyway, on to more important things. Um, I have to bring in this crest. I just think it's really nice. I think the white really works better on the red. Um, I wasn't keen to bring in the uh, the Nike badge with the uh, the border around it. I, I never really took to it. So yeah, I bring this in, and you'll note uh, that that red surround is very prominent. Um, like you could try and bring down the saturation, and yeah, it kind of disappears. But you'll note there on the shorts, we still have a problem. So yeah. Kind of works on the shirt, but we're gonna have to do some Photoshop work. Yeah, the shots just don't look right. Um, I don't completely dread using Photoshop. Um, I'd be, I'd consider myself probably below average. I've got some really bad habits on it. Doing stuff with badges is not too bad. Um, I tried to use the magic wand here, but the badge is just far too intricate. You see between the cannon and the, the lettering and the, and the laurels and, and the, like it's a it's a busy crest. It's it's a really nice crest, but uh, the magic wand just must know what's going on there. So really what you're better off doing is using the, uh, the cutting around tool, I guess you'd call it, uh, which is just above it there. It's a much better option. So yeah, when you do that, you're still going to have to tidy it up a little bit. You've got this red in there. It, doing this level of work doesn't have to be perfect. And it has to be pretty good. So I'll just do that there. And it's pretty good. There's a few there's a few small chunks there that I can just clean up. Like I said, it's not perfect. It could be, um, I could spend a few more minutes on it being precise, but at this level of detail, we'll probably be okay. So you just grab that, make a PNG with transparent, and bring it back in. Okay, nice and simple. Yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. I'll just maybe uh, spin it around there, let you have a look at it. So if you are enthusiastic about uh, Arsenal kits from the past or whatever, a uh, great book here called The Arsenal Shirt. Um, so this was published um, a few years ago. It's got really good illustrations, uh, really good detail. Um, so anyone with a passion for the club itself would find it really interesting. Moving on to the away kit. So on the old Michael Thomas kit, as we call it, um, obviously yellow and navy were the main colours, but red played a big part in it as well. It had some lovely red trim on the collar and around the tree stripes and stuff. And as I said before, that's not something that's possible here. Um, so I'm really going to go for yellow and navy here, but I want to make sure that red is prominent enough. Um, So there's two things I can do here. I can bring in the uh, the red the red badge here, which really pops with the yellow on the yellow shirt. And then I'll just add in the other the other elements here. White shorts there. We've got it. 
a would-be Southampton visit to Southampton kit here with white shorts and home socks. Um, but yeah, so the um, Michael Thomas kit obviously had kind of one of these fold over colors. And even though these weren't too common in the late 90s, I think it's going to work here. I'm getting a nice bit of red in there. Uh, and I'll just navy up the shorts. Uh, one thing I did like about this template is there's the three stripe, three stripe option there. Um, so if I can do anything to make this look like the, uh, the original. 88 to 91 kit, I'll do it. I could have had red stripes there, but I go for yellow. And then I'll just fatten up the uh, navy border. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, you see it's tucked in there. Most, most players had it tucked in in the late 90s. I always think it's important not to just make a full copy. You got to put your own stamp in it. And it's tempting to keep red stripes on the shorts, but um, you probably won't. So you got to keep the uh, the FC there. So we'll put that in red. And then, like I say, I I will change the stripes and the shorts to the yellow. So there we have it. Um, I think that's a nice companion piece to the uh, to the home kit. Um, I, I made these on Instagram six or seven months ago. I've made a few small changes to them. Um, but I think side by side they look pretty solid. I think most Arsenal fans would like them. Hope you like them too and see you soon.